Hello children, I am a unicorn, and here we are with a new segment I'm going to try out. Sorry it's been a little while since I did that last video where I, you know, watched the uh, preview for Blasphemous with you guys. But uh, I do want to try a little uh, something new. Uh, the entire apartment's asleep right now, so I figured we could have a drink together. Nice, quiet drink. Uh, this little segment I'm going to be doing is going to be called the Cheap Booze Review. So I'm basically going to go out and find the worst alcohols I can find, uh, the cheapest, the most poorly reviewed, and I'm going to drink it with you guys, and let's see, you know, how bad can it be? I mean, it can't really be that bad. Or maybe it could. We shall see. So kick things off i found this little gem after work at a local liquor store and uh just 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 the bottle itself is just so tacky looking look at this uh okay this is it inverhouse you already know whiskey is gonna be really bad when it comes with a plastic cap on top <laughs> okay so let's see what we got here Inverhouse Green Plaid, very rare Scotch whiskey. That's that's really trying to like reaffirm how special this whiskey is. Uh, let's see, Inverhouse Green Plaid, very rare Scotch whiskey, a blend of superbly light, 100% rare Scotch whiskies, distilled and blended in Scotland. 40% of alcohol by volume, 80 proof product of Scotland. Oh boy, there's a blend of whiskies right here. Oh, it's got more. Okay. Uh, age 36 months, imported and bottled for Barrett Imports, Chicago, Illinois. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. 30, age 36 months. So we, we can't just say it's been aged three years. No, that, that, makes, that devalues from the title of very rare Scotch whiskey. Oh, man. All right. Well, it, let's take a look at the bottle. A little bit more of the bottle. It looks like, it looks like a big old bottle of pee-pee. Um... Let's hope it tastes better than that, though. I'm not really, uh, my hopes aren't really high, though, because I'm in the plastic cap, so. I can only imagine it might taste something like, uh, Clan McGregor, but we shall see. Alright, let's, uh, let's have a little whiff of the bottle first. Actually, it smells pretty mild. Doesn't really have a, you know, the, like, really cheap, uh, uh, really alcoholic stuff. You can get, like, a really nasty, like, bite sort of taste, uh, sort of smell out of it, but... It smells pretty smooth. All right, so let's have some rare Scotch whiskey, shall we? Hmm. Okay. So you know, I'm gonna bring it back into view. There we go. Hey, who knows? Maybe they'll sponsor my videos. Hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna swirl it because that's what you're supposed to do, I guess. And I'm gonna look at it. Yeah, that looks like booze. All right. Okay. All uh, right, without further ado, let's drink some of uh, Ivor House whiskey. Okay. Oh. <coughs> oh. That is. Oh. Oh, that is. Oh, oh that is rough. That is rough. That was like, that was like if, ugh. It's like if you, it's like if you took some sandpaper and soaked it in gasoline until it was like a paste. Ugh. And you took that paste and put it in a food processor and made it into a liquid. That's what it tastes like. Oh my God. I have another taste. Oh. Oh, I feel like, oh, I feel like this is what the water in a pothole would taste like. Oh, that is foul. Like, I love whiskey. I'm not whistling. This is, this is awful. Oh. Oh. I didn't mean. I didn't think I was be suffering this long. Okay, so uh, let's give it a star ranking. I guess uh, let's give it a five out of five in awfulness, in being like one of the worst things I ever drank. I'm gonna have one more, just because I'm not a pussy, but I can handle my liquor. I'm gonna do a little bit though. Oh. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. 
Well, I think that's enough. Okay, so if you ever want to give your friends a good laugh, give them a taste of this stuff. Um, this is probably the worst twelve bucks I ever spent. I think I over I overpaid on this one. <laughs> all right, well that's all the time we have for this one, kids. Uh, I'm gonna go throw up <laughs> uh, because that was the worst thing I ever tasted. Like seriously, I I I think I would prefer I would take chances drinking wine made from a toilet and then ever drink that again. Oh God, it tastes so bad. Ugh. Well, kids, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe or dislike it if you don't like it. I couldn't care less. And uh, follow my happy ass on Twitter. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for drinking with me.